guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's mommy nigeria here if this is your first time joining don't forget to like comment and subscribe i'm just looking at myself like oh my you're fine you're very beautiful <laughs> i make beauty easy anyway so today you guys will be spending this friday with me uh, i don't have that much things planned but let's see how it goes and what is better than spending a day with me outside a country that makes you depressed aka uk um yeah i'm currently in spain my home in a way but not really home but anyways we thank god i'm here for a program i don't have many things planned sure but i plan on going to get my nails removed i've been trying to remove it i've removed it but never get your nails i'm done in Peckham especially if it's cheap don't do it don't do it don't do it so now my nail and my skin is basically what it has it has glue together it has gel together and it's painful so i need to go to a professional place to get it removed and stuff i probably be going out to eat somewhere and also going for a pedicure like a proper pedicure i don't think i've ever had like a full pedicure done so today i will be doing that and also as you guys can see i chopped off my hair so i might do this but i'm not sure mm, i was planning to go to the barbers get a trim and you know maybe a line for me i'm sorry <laughs> But I was actually planning to go to Platinum as well, but I'm still feeling this color. So I'm like, am I going to change it? Am I going to do anything? This hair, I cut it off like, was it a week ago or two weeks ago? And look at how much it's, it's grown already. Ugh, it is well. But I'm still going to trim it. <laughs> I'm still going to, I'm not ready for it yet. I'm not ready. If you guys don't know, this is how my hair looked like before. Looking cute, healthy, and all of those things. But you know, sometimes in life, you have to cut off some things, cut off some people. It's a new beginning. And yeah, let's not show shit. Okay, it is well. Just cut them off. This is a sign for you to cut them off. Cut them off. They are injuring your progress. They are injuring your future, you know, your future progress. They are injuring your relationship with God. And you are like, oh, I've known them for 10 years. I've known them for 15 years. You better cut them off. This is your sign. Anyways, let's get right into it. <laughs> so this is me finalizing some things I had to get done because it's better for me to just get everything done and just be free throughout the day. So yeah. Guys, so this is my outfit for today. The legends so of the trouser, Bisho Kuto is from Shien. <laughs> I got it a while ago, um, months ago actually. And this waist chain, as you guys can see, I really love it. Let me just give you guys like a closer look. This is the waist chain. I got it from Pretty Little Thing. Very cheap as well. And these shoes are from Next. Uh, yeah. And the top, I don't know where it's from. I don't remember where it's from. I got it like years ago when I was living in Spain. And this jacket from Steve Madden. I got it from TK Maxx. And that's my outfit for today and let's get going <laughs> guys i was planning to leave finally but then i made an altar of, of a painting <laughs> and someone did it they brought it basically and this don't mind my nails i'm still here to go can you see that rubbish nail there like look at this guys look at this look at this oh my god i love it I love it. I'll leave a handle down below because I love it. She even gave me, she gave me boobs. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Thank you so much. Now we can leave. Today is starting with a good note, so we thank God. And I pray it continues with a good note. But, oh my God, I love it. Look at my leaves. <laughs> I love it. But yeah, that's all I wanted to show you guys. And now I can head out. Hello, I'm here. Roaming about. <laughs> Forgetting that in Spain we go for siesta. So by 2 o'clock the shops are closed. 
and I'm like, I need to get my nails removed at least, even though I can't do it. I need to get it removed so I can be free. <laughs> you get. I've gone to two places now, and those two places, they are going for their two hour siesta break. So, so I'm going to try one more place now. Let's see. Because right now, I'm, more, I'm tired. I'm getting tired. Just so. I was able to find a place to get my nails done, as you guys can see. <laughs> I can finally remove this thing. This place is really nice and very affordable as well. I'll leave the name down below so in case you ever come to Spain, well, to Madrid, you can get it done. This is the place. It's very nice. I love it. I love it. The service here is nice as well. Immediately I got in, they attended to me. You don't really need an appointment only if they are fully booked i guess you might need it but you can just walk in so it's perfect and this something this chair i'm sitting on is a massage chair it's like perfect i'm massaging my back anyways that's it so finally i think i'll be getting my nails done and they're already doing the pedicure so let's see how it goes let's see what i'm gonna choose bye so guys, when they just told me to put my leg inside that thing, like one person was doing my nails, another person was my I was like, Jesus, what a life, what a life. Hey, I see your guy, let me stay here, let me stay here forever. It is very, very nice. If you've not been taking care of yourself, do it. I'm really grateful to God that I had the opportunity to do this. You know, just take care of myself finally, which was really good. I love the outcome, how my nails look like. Anyways, afterwards, I decided to look for somewhere to eat because I've not eaten since morning. And I brought this um, UK weather to Madrid. Can you imagine? Look at how the weather is. Look at the weather is. But look at this beautiful statue in the middle. And yeah, let's just go and look for food, I beg. So I found a place I can eat and it's called La Barca del Patio. I'll leave the name down there. As you guys can see my nails, are you guys love it? I actually love it. I love it. I love it. Now I'm like, I don't think I'm gonna dye my hair yet. I'm like, I want it to be you get. But yeah, this place is really nice. It's very traditional. That's what I like about it. And it's affordable as well. And luckily enough, they have individual paella for me to eat. So that's what I'm just going to eat. And I got, um, I ordered a nasty as well. So I've been healthy. So I'm just going to get that and head over to my next location. <laughs> so for the paella, it's just the same issue I had when I went to Menorca. They were like, it has to be two people minimum. But this time, this life is one. And one of my friends said that you only live once. I don't know if you guys can hear me because of the noise. But yeah, so uh, I just ordered for two. And if I can't finish it, I'm just going to pack it home and I'll have something to eat in the night. And that's it because I can't come and kill myself. They brought this um, dinner starter because the paella takes about 25 to 30 minutes, which is very nice of them. Uh, I didn't ask for it. They literally just brought it. They was like, I should just use that to like, kifik panu, kifik why the paella is coming, which is very nice, which is very sweet as well. I think in a way i might have me say i'm starting to master eating alone in restaurants because i've been trying this there are little things i'm trying just so i can do some things solo in the future like travel to big places solo in the future so this is literally one of the things and eating alone in a restaurant might seem awkward and look at me right now using my phone to record eating alone in a restaurant is that not even worse but anyways it's nice it's a good experience i think this is one of the things that people should actually try you shouldn't always depend on other people before you go out i'm also speaking to myself don't wait for that man that woman before you go out just go out just do what you need to do because everybody's everybody's um, journey is different, everybody's whatever is different, everybody wants and needs are different. So if one thing you would like to do is travel alone or go to a particular country and you're waiting for your friends but they've been postponing and it has not even left the group chat, or more, just carry your luggage, put that flight and go. You only live once, that's what my friend says, you only live once. So 
If it's not now, when is it going to be? Exactly. Exactly. But yeah, it is well. I'm still waiting for my food shower. Meanwhile, I'm just going to go and, um, will I say, waste my time on TikTok or something. I should actually read my Bible. Maybe I should do that. But yeah. Mm -hmm. Finally, I can finally eat what I'm craving, what I've been craving for a while. We thank God. I wonder when I get married, when I'm pregnant, if I'm craving something and I don't get to have it, what will happen? <laughs> Actually, don't know. So, I ordered the mixed paella. So, I think there's octopus here, or is it squid? I think there's squid. Um, I don't know the other things, marisco, you know. And I'm going to take this um, lemon and I'm just going to have a little drop of pea drop chat. It went a bit Thank you very much. So, guys, using this spoon, this one is giving me. If you want to eat with the devil, eat with a long, big spoon. You don't even eat with the devil. Go, whack it, you cry. You would cry. But that's the vibe this, <laughs> this spoon is giving me. The buffet by a shoe, yeah. But I use a long spoon. Because if not, you cry. You cry. There's nobody that will eat with the devil and not pay for it. There's nobody. Nobody at all. Nobody. Mm. On that note, if I yet to give your life to Jesus Christ, make sure you do. It's coming soon. I'm speaking to myself as well. Make your ways aligned with Him, because sooner or later, you actually have no option than to serve Him. You get. The devil is roaming around, looking for who to be born. He's roaming around. He's an agent of manipulation and of destruction. And if God in this season is telling you that I want you to consecrate myself, yourself to me, just do that. Do that because I feel like God, well from my own experience, God is for me a, a repetitive God. In the sense that if he tells you to do something and you don't do it, you will repeat that class until you do it because there are lots of generations that are waiting for the manifestation of the glory and as a child of light a child of god you can't afford to put your light under a bushel because god did not create us to put our light under a bushel um yeah he did not he did not at all he said that we should stand forth that we should stand we are called to shine we are called to shine brighter so what are you doing as a child of god putting your light on a bushel these are very perilous times these are times whereby you can't afford to make mistakes these are times whereby the, the voice of god is very um, audible in this generation and god is like i want you to consecrate myself to me i want you to give myself to yourself to me um totally but if you refuse it's clear and simple at the same time, these are difficult times as well, in the sense of like, you know, um, cost of living, crisis, people struggling with so many things, traumas, suicidal thoughts and stuff. I know it's easy to say and to be like, oh, um, just put your trust in Jesus Christ, you'll be fine. Because uh -huh, there are days whereby the last thing that comes to mind is God. Like, you don't even think about, oh, let me commit this thing to God. You just like, oh God, just stay that way. Because right now, I'm in so much pain. I'm in so much days. I'm in so much that. I feel like this is something that um, I've learned in the past months this year. In the sense that I realized that no matter how many people I have around to help me, the only person that can help me is actually God. 
and if I'm willing to accept help, God will help me. Sometimes I remember times where I'm like, God, help me. Like it's too much. I can't deal with this. I can't deal with this. And God shows forth in a miraculous and in a perfect way as the God he is. I'm sorry about the background noise, but yeah, it just shows forth as the God he is. And I'm very happy to say that where I am right now is not where I was two, three, four, five, six months ago. In the sense, especially mentally, mentally I was in a very dark, um, in a very dark place. <laughs> they started playing music. <laughs> uh, I was in a very, very dark place. I couldn't really have, like with the years, I've learned to keep my emotions to myself and deal with it. But then it came to the point whereby I was like, God, I need help, I need help, I need people. And it's very important to have people with you. You have many people that do care for you that you might think that, oh, they don't. Um, but they actually do. People are actually there to support you in one way or the other. Shout out to my friends. God bless you guys. But yeah, that's something. And learn how to accept help as well. I was the type of person that I didn't know how to accept help. I'm still learning and it's been beautiful. It's actually been beautiful because God did not like bring me to sorry. <laughs> One man just said that to me. <laughs> but yeah, in this season just please place your focus and everything on God. And he's happy, he's ready to help you, he's ready to strengthen you. No matter what you're going through, God is ready, he's ready to strengthen you. He might just want, it's literally at the door. You know, I'm not, I'm paraphrasing now, but you know that Bible verse that says that I'm at the door looking for someone to open the door, can you come, can you come? Jesus Christ is actually at the door, he just wants you to like, okay, open the door, you have to ask, open it. Open it, open it, open it. And sometimes as human beings, there are barriers in our hearts or in our mind that has somehow caged God in a box. Sometimes you might try to like, you know, open that door to God, but the barriers are just there. I just pray to God, like God, I want to let you in, but I can't, and I need you to help me, and God will actually do that, which is my testimony which is my testimony because if not for God if not for God my sentence for this um, year was like God you have saved me because it's like if not for God if not if not for God oh, my food is getting cold <laughs> bye bye So guys, um, this is basically going to be the end of this whatever. I was planning to go to um, the movies to watch um, Wakanda Forever, which comes out today. I think I think it was today or yesterday. I don't even remember, but I was still planning to go watch it. But then it's too late. It's too late for me to carry myself and go watch it. In theory, it's like I'm on vacation, but I still have like this mental coffee that I just want to be in my house early. So we move. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that mini vlog. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And God bless you. Bye.